Unit 1, Lesson 4, Scaled Relationships. Number 1. Select all statements that must be true for any scaled copy Q of polygon P. I did not select A because we don't know if all the side lengths are whole numbers. I did select B because we can see that all the angle measures are whole numbers. I selected C because Q has exactly one right angle located on the bottom left hand corner. I selected D because if the scale factor between P and Q is one fifth, then we would have to multiply the side lengths of P by one fifth to get the corresponding side length of Q. I didn't select E because you don't multiply the angle by the scale factor. The angle always stays the same. And I selected F because Q has two acute angles and three obtuse angles. Acute angles are any angles that are smaller than 90 degrees and obtuse angles are any angles that are larger than 90 degrees. Number two. Here is quadrilateral ABCD. Quadrilateral PQRS is a scaled copy of quadrilateral ABCD. Point P corresponds to point A, point Q to point B, point R to point C, and point S to point D. If the distance from point P to point R is 3 units, what is the distance from point Q to point S? Explain your reasoning. Since quadrilateral ABCD is shown, and A to C is actually 6 units, and A to C corresponds with P to R on the scaled copy, and they tell us that P to R is worth 3 units, and on quadrilateral ABCD the distance between B to D is also 6 units, so the scaled copy from Q to S would be 3 units. Quadrilateral PQRS must be a half scale of quadrilateral ABCD. That would be a scale factor of one half. That's why A to C is six units and P to R is three units. B to D is six units and Q to S is three units. Number three. Figure two is a scaled copy of figure one. A. Identify the points in figure 2 that correspond to the points A and C in figure 1. Label them P and R. What is the distance between P and R? Here are the points P and R that correspond with points A and C. The distance between points P and R is 6 units. B. Identify the points in figure 1 that correspond to the points Q and S in figure 2. Label them B and D. What is the distance between B and D? Here are the points B and D that correspond with points Q and S. The distance between B and D is 3 units. C. What is the scale factor that takes figure 1 to figure 2? On figure 1, the distance between points B and D is 3, and the distance between their corresponding points on figure 2, points Q and S, is 9, and 9 is 3 times greater than 3, so it would have a scale factor of 3. D. G and H are two points on figure 1, but they are not shown. The distance between G and H is 1. What is the distance between the corresponding points on figure 2? We've already figured out that the scale factor is 3. So if the distance between points G and H on figure 1 is 1 unit, then the corresponding distance on figure 2 would be 1 times 3, which is 3 units. Number 4. To make one batch of lavender paint, the ratio of cups of pink paint to cups of blue paint is 6 to 5. 
Find two more ratios of cups of pink paint to cups of blue paint that are equivalent to this ratio. Since one batch has a ratio of 6 to 5, two batches would double that, so two batches would have a ratio of 12 to 10. And three batches would be three times greater than one batch, so three batches would have a ratio of 18 to 15.